Back in December of 2020, I published a video about vaccine mandates. I talked about the options of both public and private employers to mandate a vaccine. I also said that it was unlikely that employers would mandate a vaccine with only emergency approval. Well, things have changed since last December, especially here in Arizona. I'm Steve Serbalik. I'm a panel attorney for ASCOPS, and today's video is an update on vaccine mandates for public employers in Arizona. That said, I'm not going to recover the topic as it relates to private employers. Private employers are, generally speaking, still allowed to mandate vaccines, including the COVID vaccine, for their employees. And before diving in further, I'm providing a topic summary, not legal advice. And the topic summary that I'm providing relates to what the law is, not necessarily what I believe the law should be. And on a personal note, I had COVID. I recovered back in December of 2020. I also took the COVID vaccine. Okay, so with all of those disclaimers out of the way, here's the current law in Arizona. Governor Ducey and the departments of Arizona that report to him in the executive branch have substantial powers when a public health emergency exists. State law allowed the state to require vaccines in the event that there was an imminent threat of smallpox, plague, viral hemorrhagic fevers like Ebola, or a highly contagious and highly fatal disease with transmission characteristics similar to smallpox. The governor, in consultation with the State Department of Health Services, could issue an order for mandatory vaccination. At the same time, ARS Section 26-307A states that counties, cities, and towns may make, amend, and rescind orders, rules, and regulations necessary for emergency functions, but such shall not be inconsistent with orders, rules, and regulations promulgated by the governor and existing laws or orders from local governments are suspended during and to the extent that they conflict. In other words, the governor is in charge in statewide emergencies. He has wide-ranging authority to issue emergency orders. And he says that COVID doesn't meet both of the requirements for a mandatory vaccine. In prior statements, Governor Ducey made it clear that COVID meets the requirement for being highly transmissible but it's not as deadly as, say, Ebola. So he determined that a mandatory vaccine is not appropriate. Additionally, Governor Ducey issued an executive order that further clarifies the issue and creates a private right of action against local government entities that try to enforce a vaccine mandate. Summing that up, although the final call would be made by a judge, it appears that local governments in Arizona cannot implement a vaccine mandate. And finally, other state laws take effect at the end of September 2021 that would further solidify the position that no local government can mandate vaccines. The new law also limits the state's ability to mandate vaccines. All of this taken together means that it's unlikely that local governments in Arizona can force employees to get the COVID vaccine as a condition of employment. They can ask, they can likely offer incentives, but government employers probably can't fire employees who decide not to get a COVID vaccine. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please like the video, even if you like the presentation, not necessarily just because you agree with the state law. And please subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps out my channel as it causes YouTube to show the video to more people. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.